up, man? It's Marvin. Let's go. Use the Rockets. All right, thank you, man. You watch the videos? Oh, yeah. I watched from day one, baby. From uh, the, the pranks to uh, Andre Green, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate it. What's going on, everybody? I'm out here in Houston. We were in San Antonio last night for the Spurs games, but it is raining tonight, so we are gonna get a lot of the reactions in the parking garage so the camera doesn't get wet. But nonetheless, let's go see if these fans are bad wagons. Let's go. Are you even a fan? Bad wagon looking ass, switching jerseys every day. Swear to God, nobody said. Answer my questions, boy. Why you stressing? You didn't lie so well. Why you know this now? Like my mama. Like your mama? Okay. Yes. You ready? Yes. Alright, so I'm out here with Pauline Boyd. Diana. Troy. Matthew Seligman. And Cindy. David. Carl. Kristen. Philip. Danny. Scott is Scott on Instagram. Raw man. Alright, Diana, how long you been a Rockets fan? Ooh, since my 25, 26 years. Okay, so loyal <laughs> fan. Loyal fan. Yes. Um, who's your favorite Rocket on the team right now? Oh. Ooh, well, I guess Harden will be. Harden? Yeah. Definitely. Can you tell me how the Rockets acquired Harden? No, I sure can't. No. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, man. How long have you been a Rockets fan? Yeah, my whole life. Your whole life? All right. Who's your favorite current Rocket player? James Harden. James Harden. Okay. Can you tell me how the Rockets acquired James Harden? Uh, in a trade. Okay, trade. see? Yep. There we go. Perfect. All right, David. How long have you been a Rockets fan? Um, actually, just about a year and a half since I moved to Houston. Okay, where are you originally from? I'm from Pittsburgh, and we don't have a basketball team, so yeah. it was actually the perfect scenario for me. Nice, nice. So, uh, who's your favorite current Rockets player? I'd say Chris Paul. Chris Paul, okay. Yep. Um, can you tell me how the Rockets acquired Chris Paul? How they acquired him? Well, they picked him up last year. <laughs> Through? You no, know, it was a trade, right? The Clippers. Yep, okay. Do you know the tallest player in Rockets history? Ooh, could it be Hakeem? I'll give you a hint, he's Asian. Oh, um, Yao. There we go, yes. Yao Ming, perfect. Can you tell me who the tallest Rockets player in history is? In history, uh, ooh, would it be Hakeem? I'll give you a hint, he's Asian. Yao Ming. Yao Ming, there we go. All right guys, how long have you been Rockets fans? My whole life. 91. 91? Yeah, 91, that's my whole well, life. His 91, <laughs> me 88. Okay, yeah. for sure, for sure. Um, who's your favorite current Rockets player? James Harden. James Harden? Okay, can you tell me uh, how the Rockets acquired James Harden? From the Thunder. From the Thunder, okay. Yeah. Who's your um, favorite player that's under the radar right now, not in the start? Like, do you have oh, any? Gerald Green! Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Gerald Green also. Gerald <laughs> Green, okay. What do you guys feel about Andre Green? He's actually his little brother. They picked him up in yeah. the G League. It's a lot of family chemistry. You, you like you like the player? I like him. I can't wait to see him come play. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's in the league. Definitely. What about you? Ready for another room protector. For sure. <laughs> Previously on Summer Lap. Who's your guys' favorite player right now on the Warriors? Um, it's hard, but probably Andre Green. Who? Green! Oh, Green? Andre Green. Andre Green. Andre Green. How do you think about Andre Green? Uh, getting added onto the assistant coach spot. You know, he's been helping a lot with the defense. You, you heard about that, right? I heard about it, yeah. 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 You, like it? you like him as a coach? I like him as a coach, for sure. What do you think he adds to the table? Like, defense and stuff like that, strategy, like like a play. Like, it's like you make you make it a recipe for your, um, your plays. Checking up. Mm -hmm. uh, next question, uh, Tracy McGrady has one of the most historical games of all time. He scored a certain amount of points in 35 seconds. Can you tell me how many 13 points? against the Spurs. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. We're there. Uh, we were there. Oh, wow, yeah. really? Live. Yeah. That's amazing. We're big McGrady fans. That's amazing. That is 11. Yao Ming on the inbounds. Trying to make things difficult for Brent Barry. Gets it in. Evan Brown lost it. Here comes McGrady. No timeouts remaining. McGrady for the win. Yes! Oh! 1.7 to go. San Antonio with no turnout. Here's Parker and the Rockets steal a game from the Spurs. 
Tracy McGrady had like one of the most historical nights in NBA history. He scored a certain amount of 13 points. 13 points in 35 seconds. There we go. Perfect. Uh, next question. Um, Who is the tallest Rockets player in history? Uh, Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Can you guys tell me the tallest Rockets player in history? Yao Ming. Rob Samson. Oh, Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Sorry. Yao Ming. Sorry. Yao Ming. Sorry. Yao Ming. It's all good. It's all good. So, what are your thoughts on rookie Jock Webster trying to battle it out with James Harden for the starting spot in the lineup? You think he'll get it? No. No one's bringing down Jimmy Harden. No, 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 no. no, no. James is a man. Definitely. He's not going to get it right now. Do you guys like Webster, though? We like him. You like him? It's good backup. Wait. No opinion. No opinion? He right. ain't Jimmy Harden. Thoughts on Jock Webster battling it out with James Harden for the starting spot in the lineup? You think he'll get it over him? Rookie? Who? Jock Webster? Who is Jock Webster? He's a rookie. I ain't never heard of him. Trick question. I try to get you guys. That was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. Loyal fan. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this episode's halftime. First of all, you already know the drill. Make sure to add me on Snapchat. I'll put the snap code on the screen. My Snapchat and Instagram are the same handle. They're at sum it up with three eyes. give a huge 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 thank you to bookmark.com they are today's sponsor basically bookmark.com will create your website now that website could be anywhere from a blog to an e-commerce shop you even get your very own personal AI assistant named Ada and I'm telling you this assistant is way smarter than some of the people you may find online being a business owner I know how big of a headache creating a website might be and going back and forth with designers and engineers and coders to help you get whatever you need on your website but bookmark.com has everything in one place and is very easy and customizable this thing will literally build you a website within two minutes if you really want it bookmark.com has some of the most competitive prices out there and i really recommend you guys to check them out if you guys are looking to create a website for yourself that'll conclude this episode's halftime i hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far but yeah let's get back to it let's go you said james harden is your favorite player yeah yeah uh can you tell me what university he went to for college College? Oh man. No, I'll give I you a, I'll give you a hint. It's in Arizona. Arizona. Arizona University Arizona. ASU, Arizona State University. Arizona. What are your thoughts on Jock Webster? He's like challenging James Harden for the starting spot in the lineup. Do you think that he'll get it over him? Oh my goodness. Ooh. I, I don't know, but I hope not. You don't Do you like Jock Webster though? I mean he's a he's a rookie, he's putting in work. No, he's good, he's good. Uh, it's just um, I don't know. You have to earn your stripes, I guess. What are your thoughts on rookie Jock Webster trying to battle it out with James Harden for the starting spot in the lineup? You think he'll get it over him? Um, I don't know. That, that, that's a tough one. Yeah. Um, I, I do you like know. his game, though? I Yeah, I do. Yeah. Can you tell me the tallest Rockets player of all time? Okay. Can it be like when they... I say Matumbo. Matumbo? Yeah. Okay. It's actually Yao Ming. Oh, but it's all, it's all good. Can you tell me if this is true or false? The Houston Rockets drafted James Harden. Oh, that's false. That's false. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me how they acquired him? Uh, it was a actually. Um, I think OKC was trying to. They didn't have a well at the point. James Harden, you know, he was, you know, he was getting yeah. big and big, so he needed the money. OKC wasn't trying to pay him, so I guess it was he like traded a, yeah, they traded him exactly, and he became you know the star over here in Houston, yeah. So, what do you think about assistant coach Andre Green? Uh, he was added onto the roster earlier this year, or to the coaching staff, and um, he's been he's been trying to argue for Jock Webster. He's a rookie. He's trying to start him over James Harden. What is, what's your, like, thoughts on that? That's blasphemy, man. <laughs> that's blasphemy. Like, who gonna start? They trying to start over Harden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you, do you like Webster, though? He's, he's a rookie. He's hungry for the, for the spot. But you can't, you can't, I don't, that's crazy. If they trying to move Harden to the, I don't know what they. Yeah, that's crazy. That's MVP, man. That's what's wrong with Carmelo. They got him on coming off the bench. He should be treated like a superstar. He like a, he rare. He a rare score. I mean, you got to treat him as such. That way, he get out there and perform with the confidence. You know, he ain't got that confidence right now. You can't do people like that, man. I mean, Definitely. The rookie Jock Webster is actually competing against James Harden to get that starting lineup spot. Do you think who, who do you think deserves it? 
I think Jay's hungry is deserved because like he he's hungry for his spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he played good, if he played good like he did tonight, he he just needs to uh, fighting for his, that spot that um that spot like you um fighting for um that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want fighting for the um going for war, you know? Exactly. So, what do you think about Jock Webster's game, though? He's a rookie. He's working hard. I see his game. I work. I work for security. His oh. game is good. And at the same time, if you want, if you want that position so bad, fight for it. You know what I'm saying? Not physically fight yeah, for yeah. it. Just fight for it. You want. You hungry for it? You know. Yeah. I used to play basketball, so, but I'm security. But if I had kids, they're gonna play. Yeah. Can you tell me which Rockets player scored um, 13 points in 35 seconds? 13 points in 35? Was it Gerald Green? That's close. Actually, Andre Green. You remember that time? Oh, Andre Green. So what do you think about assistant coach Andre Green? Uh, he was added onto the roster earlier this year. No, I did. I, normally, I'd be working back there, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Do you like Andre Green, though? I'm not a big fan. No? Yeah, I'm really not a big fan. Can you tell me when their first championship win was? In 1994, when we beat John Starks and the New York Knicks. Perfect, perfect. I had a dream that you were home again. Then I woke up feeling alone again. Who am I kidding, man? I can't pretend. I've been hurting ever since.